Hi everyone, today I will talk about the .NET MAUI and themes and how to go beyond light theme and dark theme and add more themes to your app. If you're interested more about styles, you can watch my previous video where I walk through the basic of styles. But today we will focus on how to add themes. In the previous video I used app theme binding to handle dark theme and light theme. But in some apps, you maybe want to add more themes. And that is what I will show you today. So let's go to Visual Studio. I will show you the app that I have built that support many themes. So we can take a look at the app first. So we started. So here you have a simple app. You have a theme picker where you can pick same as system and it will use the system settings from the operating system. But then we also have dark, light, blue and red. So let's select blue. The app will change to blue. If we select red, the app will change to red or light, dark and same as system. Okay, so now we have four different themes. So how I created that is that I used something called dynamic resources and dynamic resources make it possible to change values in runtime compared to static resources that are loaded when you start the app so if you go to my app.saml you can see here that i have some label styles and say text color value dynamic resource dot text color and those colors i have created that in a separate resource dictionary so if you go to resources here and styles, you can see that I have blue, dark, light, red. So I have one resource dictionary per theme. And in the default template for .NET MAUI, you have a resource dictionary for all the colors. But here I created one per theme. What you need to do more than just create the SAML file is that you also need to create a code behind and set this class property like this and in this one you need to call initialize components so you need to do that for every theme that you add otherwise you can just copy the color.saml you have from the default template but here we have all the colors defined for this app yeah, three, three but when you work with your own app you will of course add more colors so I have the same keys in all of those files just with different values. So if we go here now to my main view model that has a picker logic to handle uh, the themes. So when we select a new theme, I just save it, preferences, and then I send an event to the app saml.cs file. You can have this logic wherever you want in the app, but I prefer to have it here in the app because I think that is a logic place to have it. So when this message is coming to this class, I will just call the load theme method. And in the load theme method, I'll make sure that we are on the main thread. And then I start to load different themes or load uh, different dictionaries. So based on the input, I load the dark, light, red, or blue, or a custom theme. I will show you more about later in this video. So when I have this resource dictionary here, I can just go and add it to the merge dictionaries. So merge dictionaries are clear first to remove the old one if we have already selected one, and then I add it. It's just as simple as that. But if you have other dictionaries that you merged into this merge dictionaries list, you cannot use clear. So make sure that you only remove the color dictionary and not other ones that you want to have loaded. What I also did here is that I added an option for the users to define their own themes. So if we open the app again, you can go to the second tab here that has three input entries one for each color so if i go here now and say like uh, this just take something 
it's hex codes here. So we have to make it simple like this and select three different colors. And now I press save and set. And now I have a new theme on my app. And now we can go and try to set the new color for background color. Set it to black, for example. And now if you go back here, we can select custom theme, we can change to red. And we can go back to custom theme again, because I'm also saving the themes. Uh, and when I'm doing that, I add them as a dictionary of string strings, because I had problems serializing the resource dictionary. So then I decided to go with a regular dictionary. And I just save it as JSON to the preferences. And then I also tell, okay, this has been added. So I can in my main view model add that to the picker also. So that the user can see in the picker that they have selected the custom theme. And if we go here back to app.saml.cs, if it is a custom theme that comes here, I go to the load custom theme method, I read the JSON, deserialize it, and then I create the resource dictionary based on the values I have in the regular dictionary. I just return it and I load it into merge dictionaries exactly as I did with the predefined dictionaries. This makes it possible for your user to have a more customized experience when they are using your app. You maybe don't want to have custom themes in your apps, but having more than light mode and dark mode can in some apps be very appreciated by the users. And this is how you can implement that. And all of this source code will be available on GitHub. I will add a link in the video description. So if you like this video, please press the like button. And uh, I will also be very happy if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, because there will also be more videos about .NET MAUI and other .NET stuff. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.